In 2017, I created Say Less Podcast. Then we created a network around that. I created a bunch of shows. We created a radio station, WTCP. Then 2021, this year, we went to TCP TV on Roku. So now we're on TV. So what's next? I'm thinking productions. I'm thinking movies. I'm thinking live performances. So how do I do that? Now I created TCP Entertainment. And we're going to do all of that. We got a bunch of new shows. We got the ladies at Queen's Table, Vixen, Two X's, E, Badu, My Ace, Hollywood. We got the new show I'm creating with uh, comedian Josh DeWay. I hate it here. He's hilarious. Y'all gonna love him too. Then we got Poor K. No, that's our first Spanish speaking show. I'm doing on site where I'm gonna be pulling up on people just, just having real conversation. But um, our biggest project that we're working on right now for TCP, TCP Entertainment um, is TCP's Who Did It Best. And it's gonna be business against business. And when I say business against business, I'm talking about COVID hit us really hard. So we're trying to do something to put, put a spotlight on these businesses that went through tough times during COVID. A lot of people had to close their doors. So what we wanna do is not just have business against business, but we wanna highlight these businesses and celebrate these businesses and put people back in these businesses. Um, but yeah, you know, who got the best cheese steaks in the city? Who does the best dark fades? We're gonna do all of that, man. And TCP's Who Did It Best? TCP Entertainment's Who Did It Best? But uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna have the final say on all the cuts, so you know we about to turn up. TCP Entertainment, baby. Snap, 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 snap. Because we six days away from Room of Rhyme, baby. October Room 9th, Zotropolis. Of Rhyme. We're back at Zotropolis again. And I just want to say everything we've dropped so far at Zotropolis has been on a very special day. Our first one was on Juneteenth. Our second uh, TCP last was on 9-11. This one is on the, the newest national holiday, Blast day! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Room around, room around, and we have one of our hosts here. I'm a, I'm a super fan. I'm, I'm glad you're here, Thundercat. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Um, listen, you've you've done both of our. You were the only one that did both TCP labs, um, and. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like when we were putting it together, I, I was like, we can't have her back because we didn't have anybody else back and everybody cussed me out. Damn. So I, uh, I like to run a democracy, so I let everybody, you know what I mean? And, and we had you back and you killed it again. I do what I can. <laughs> now you're hosting. How are you gonna top what you already did? Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, but <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do it. That is that is one goal that I do have. I have to um, I have to top uh, the last performance in some way, whether it be by giving a new piece or an old piece in a new way. It has to be better than the last time or else. What's the point? Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. And and you're hosting with, with a close friend, your, your bro, Dom, who was just on Queen's Table. Yeah. Um, Dom is a born host i don't know what made y'all want me to host this <laughs> <laughs> but um he's gonna be probably carrying most of that weight because he's just he's just good at that i'm not he, <laughs> he's a he's a brilliant host and he's he's hosted things he's been yeah he's a brilliant host he's he did he did the first tcp last before we actually brought it outside mm. and um he, he killed it so yeah he's 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 dope and i can't wait to see what both of y'all do because he told me he got some shit i can't even say but Oh Can't my. wait to see what he got <laughs> coming up. Alonzo Williams Jr., my guy, how are you doing? How was your week, bro? 
Mo week was a week, and we are here. That's Did what it is. Get any buns this week? Define buns. <laughs> well, cookout season's over. <laughs> so yeah, you know what I mean? cookout <laughs> season's never over. <laughs> no, you cook all you cook out all year, right? That's not what I was asking about, but since you're there. <laughs> 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 All right, he's not gonna answer. We got <laughs> E. E. Um, how was your week, E? My week was wonderful. I'm, I'm glad. I, and and you got buns. I'm, I'm assuming because your your guy's right next to you, and, I'm, and he's looking happy. Your buns is right there. <laughs> I got my buns right next to me. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, hey now, listen. I just needed to finish the show. That's all. <laughs> I haven't christened this studio yet. So, you know. <laughs> um, that's a whole nother story. She said yet, though. Y'all but didn't she's, yet. Yeah, I'm about to go there since you brought it up. Yeah. She's, she's never mind. I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm happy that everybody is here. Everybody is healthy. And I'm very, I'm, I'm, again, I'm looking forward to next Saturday. Not because it's my birthday, but <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right, I am. I am. I was going to say, don't <laughs> I am. But. I'm also really looking for, because this, this is our first one around. And um, I, honestly, to keep it a bean, I let Yaz head this. So I just been kind of coming behind her and like, yo, we, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of waiting to see how it goes and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. She got but it. She we got try it. our best. Make sure, make sure y'all come out uh, 10, 10, 9, 10, 9, 21. We outside. So. Nobody asked me how my week was. He didn't give us a chance. <laughs> um, my week was eventful. Uh, we a lot of moving around, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I didn't get any buns neither, so. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> nah, but it was it was all right. Um, a couple, a lot of goofy shit going on, but you know, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy that the fam is here. And let's just get into it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because <clears throat> they get on me for this. Because when I just get into the story, they've been like, oh, you, you didn't say the intro. So <clears throat> we ain't got no music and shit, but we got E on the boards. <laughs> we got Alonzo Williams Jr. in the building. Your kung fu is lousy. We got Thundercat with us today. And I am your host, Blast. This is Say Less Podcast, episode 148, I'm pretty sure. You're I'm, up there somewhere. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it's 148. I wrote it down. <laughs> um, but let's get into it. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a little pissy this week. People got a little pissy. Um, oh, well. <clears throat> no pun intended. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it looks like they're about to roof Robert Kelly. Finally. Here's my question, because I've been kind of not listening to him. I ain't really been, I ain't been receiving his music the same. And I think, to me, he's, he's the, to me, before the bullshit, he was the GOAT of R&B, to yeah, me. He, he was out there. Or, or close but, to like, it. Like, you have to argue that he's at least top three. I mean, so. I, I stopped listening to him years ago, but you couldn't yeah. dodge his music. You could not hear it. You know what I'm saying? You still, go anywhere, they played it. Still fine. But he was playing hot. It was still hot. <laughs> Even though I wasn't listening to him, like so here's my question. I'm not purging this in, but it was still hot. Like I'm like, yo, he's hot. Before we dive into his deviance, <laughs> I just want to know since he's doing his time for what he's done, can I step in the name of love again? Can they at least make him allow him to make music? I just want to. There's only in? a couple songs I need to throw back into the rotation. Like I don't, I don't need the whole catalog. <laughs> but there's certain uh, songs. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain like said, songs, eh? Hey. It don't feel right. You're it not gonna receive it the same. Like I, I really can't listen to like Aaliyah's first album, AJ Number but a Number. That don't. That definitely don't hit the same no more. <laughs> <laughs> that that's. Uh. It didn't it's hit the way now. after I first heard, <laughs> and I was like, oh. It all sounds like a confession now. Right. right. And he been calling himself the Pod Piper right in front of our face <laughs> for years. And now he says he's innocent. Let me tell yo, when that, when his his tape came out, 
I was, I was, I had just moved back from Florida. So you talk about 2001. We let this guy get away for 20 years. Chocolate Factory came out after that. Yeah. Let's let's not get like it came out after that. And when Step in the Name of Love, Step in the Name of Love came out, we was all bumping it. We forgot that we saw him do what he did on that video. And a lot of us in the hood, because it was in every barber shop, it was in every bodega, and this was on VHS. This is how long ago it was. <laughs> yeah. The tape was on VHS. It was everywhere. Yeah. And I would have. I would have. With the sales were for that, I would have. If they kept numbers, what would the sales be? Because uh, everybody had it. Yeah, I remember. I remember the one when he was doing the he was, size in the camera. Yo, know, he was, but he was doing. He was slow stroking the joint, looking at the camera, and slow stroking, and looking, and he's back, and I'm like, "Yo, that's you, fam!" And <laughs> and then he goes in court and convinces a jury that that's his brother. Yeah, I, yo, man. where's this lawyer at? <laughs> he's the goat. Like we need that's, to give him props. That's why he's broke. <laughs> <laughs> he's still he's still paying for that. He's still paying for that acquittal. We don't even give we don't even give that lawyer the Johnny Cochran nod, but he needs it. <laughs> like what what he pulled off with R. Kelly was probably he's bigger like, than what Johnny Cochran did for OJ. A unicorn yo. joint. Yo, we saw it. We all saw it. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah, all like we saw it. Right, right. Cause, cause, yo, he remember he sized up the video. He was sizing yo, up. He kept like, looking is this in the right and place? Like, yo. Where he kept repeating uh, her age or something like that. Wasn't there? there was he was another repeating video. her age. On, I didn't see that. He said, that. Her, he said her age. He, out loud I probably had the volume. Yo, but they had the tapes and everything. Yo, they <laughs> they got the tapes, man. They got the tapes. You know what I'm saying? From his house. That's you. And it was in his house. Like it was. They saw that it was in his house. They, they went, the FBI came and investigated, saw that these were the rooms he was in. And then you're going to say it's your brother. And then I see his brother later on this this documentary that we got. And his brother don't look shit like him. How did you pull that off? Like, are you serious? <laughs> he's still paying for that today. That's why he's broke. <laughs> he, he's, uh-huh. still pay, he's still paying that lawyer. So what do we think about this trial? You know what, though? Like, they had the evidence, man, and they dragged that out, and they put him out there like that. Did they really need the testimonies? Like, come on, man. He should have took the plea deal. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he should have. Yeah. But he, yo, I don't know what he he's, thought, he's yo. He's still professing his innocence. <laughs> but you got to take the plea deal. Here's the thing. Because you, if, if you know in your head, because – his lawyer gave him a discovery. <laughs> you know who's about to testify. <laughs> Fam. They about to drag you. This though, these past couple weeks was so crazy. Like, even if R. Kelly gets out tomorrow, none of us will ever see him the same. Like, fam, you would not only was you messing with little girls, you was messing with little boys. You was giving out herpes to everybody. And now this is like a, a th- like your doctor Spreading was in it. Like, germ, they man. just spread all his dirty laundry. And if he would have took that plea deal, we wouldn't know none of that shit. <laughs> none of that. He did and that. And now he's getting roofed oh, anyway. He, you know he, he did that. Yeah. Like this, really, this is how we're going to. Really this is how we're going to remember him going out. I don't think nobody had to gas him up because it's from the stories. It, like, if you watch the docs and, like, hear the shit, like, he's a super, super narcissist. So, like, he's a, they said he he liked to play basketball every single day. So he would take his entourage out. But the the four people that was on his team, every time they came down to shoot, they had to pass it to him. Like, really? nobody, like, he was the only person on this team that was allowed to take shots or you get fired. What? That was R. Kelly. Like, he was, yes. And, like, his women... He would make them look down when when men walk in the room. They had to look at the floor, like they couldn't speak to them when they sp- like. So this is the man that we're talking about. So I don't think nobody had to gas him up. <laughs> He's just that guy. Like he, <laughs> yeah, like, and and that and all this came out in the court shit too. Yeah. So, like you seeing who this this man really is, and then you seeing his his wife, and then the girls, even the girls that that did the uh, Gail King interview with him. Right. They came out now and was like, oh, they was forced. To, they were scared of that man. Oh, yeah. He put the fear of God in them girls. 
So I'm torn, like, because now he's going away for life, and I feel like I should at least get get TP2 back. <laughs> I can't get TP2? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there were so many jams on it, like and and like I'm a I'm a big hypocrite because I still do. Listen. I don't listen to him. I, I haven't listened to him for a couple. I years, still at least would listen to the. I still would listen to the albums before all that came out. I used to know. Like I, I'll, 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 right. I'll play the uh, what's the joint with Honey Love and all that? The first one, like that one's hot. Honey Love, that's the first album. All that, but he, yeah. But he got, the second album was crazy. Like the early album, it's not even okay to listen to this music at all. Your body's I, calling. I would listen to pl- 12 play. I definitely can't put Seems Like You're Ready back in there. Seems Like You're Ready is definitely Yeah, because, yo, all his, music, the all his music, all his music hits different now. Nah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah, I should, yeah, I, yeah. You end up fast forwarding <laughs> through half the album like, uh. Because if, cause if, cause if I'm at the crib trying to set the mood, and then R. Kelly comes on, and then I might start looking at the camera. And, uh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, what listen, camera? Listen, I don't mind wow. your business. I, I'm speaking to no. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, kind of. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, R. Kelly. Um, he's not been sentenced yet, so we'll see what happens to him. And I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Well, kills. I'm not mad at this. I, I've seen I've seen people trying to defend him, and they called it, they 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 labeled them on the internet. The internet never loses. They're called the P-Hop. Ooh. So all wow. everybody defending That's R. Cold, Kelly. Man. Shout out to the P-Hop. That's brilliant. That's cold, yeah. <laughs> um. That's cold. I don't I don't think it's a win here. I've seen like a lot of you saying like, well then they should all go to jail. I dig it. They should all go to jail, but don't die on this hill. Don't die on this hill with this guy. Yeah. You, this, this don't. We we gotta sit this he one out. He orchestrated all that. Yeah. If that man went to play basketball, and he was only one allowed to shoot. He, he was the only. He one controlled allowed to everything. Sh- Yo, there's a celebrity. I forgot who it was. It was a comedian or somebody. He said he went and played, but he was on the other team. He said, "Yo," he said, "Every time they came down, he said they'd be having a wide open lamp on a fast break." And stop and have to pass it back to the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy as hell. I was like, damn. Or you're. <laughs> Yo. Shoot and shoot. <laughs> Yo, I don't, I don't he know. sees somebody going for a dunk like, hey! Get out of here. <laughs> well, speaking of the people that we came up loving, but um, we got to talk about our boy, Mr. Smith. Will, uh, West Philadelphia's uh, best, <laughs> finest. <laughs> uh, I, I think him and Jada are giving us way too much tea. We we should not be in their bedroom. We should not be in their relationship. Nope. All of this shit. Um, All that shit is, it just feels like Jada's trying to stay relevant right now. Man, listen. Yeah, because right before he came, like I saw that shit. An article came out a couple of days before with Jada that said that that she uh, she was trying to find out how to really love or some shit. And I'm like, yo, you've been married to Will for 20 something years. You know like why? the disrespect. You know why? <laughs> because Jada's in an open marriage. But but she 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 from from what Will sounded like, it sounded like she pushed that on him, like this she is, wanted that. This is what I'm saying. Listen to me. I said. Jada's in an open marriage. And that's crazy. Because we know, like, Will and Jada was like, there's Barack and Michelle. People right. look at Jay and Like, that was Will and Jada. To, now that whole shit is tarnished. Right. And it, it shouldn't be tarnished because we don't know what's going on in Barack and Michelle's relationship. We don't know what's going on in JMB's relationship. Right. We know they, they had trouble, but, but it was quiet. And we, didn't, we don't know details. And we shouldn't. No details. Why Will and Jada, just, and I said, uh, August Alcina got some blame on this because he should have kept his mouth the fuck closed too. He's he's a whole who, sucker for what he does. does that though? It, yeah, he's a sucker. But I just think I, I want to keep Will as one of our heroes. And and it's just, this is messy. 
It's messy as hell. The kind of messy that we don't expect out of them. We don't have the, the right to expect anything out of anybody. Right. Regardless. But he's Will. Like, I seen somebody saying, like, Will and Jada's trying to change what people think about marriage. And I'm like, no, they're not. Like, what? what, what, what the audacity of us as as fans and an audience to think that they think they're trying to influence us right. with, with their what? marriage, with their personal life. No, with they're what? just living their personal life and what works for them. And what's crazy is y'all know some people that are doing worse and or, or, or not worse or doing different shit that some of y'all would think is some freak shit. If, if, I, if any of us in this room was to unveil the shit that goes on in our bedroom i'm sure people would look at us differently than what they look at us now yeah and we joke on here we talk we talk crazy on here but we don't i'm not giving you intimate real details we talk shit like (laughs) but when you have will and jada and then you hit the and she's she's saying that she hasn't been loving somebody right and then we hear about august alcina and august alcina makes a song about it that is Detailed, like, like it, it's it's a terrible song. It's a terrible yeah, why song. Would, like it's all that telling and make. Eh, it's, what kind of guy? That's the new generation you know that, stuff. You know he did that with the intent to like feel like he's setting some sort of record. Because he, he wants her back. She he wants to break. Yeah. He wants to break that marriage up. Because it it felt like Will needed, like he felt like he needed to come out and explain. And and for real, for real, in this day and age, the way the internet moved. He didn't need to say shit. We don't even give a fuck. It's five years from now, we would have been back in love with Will and Jada. If, if they would have kept all their shit, like, because that's how we forget about, like, we, there's people on TV that we have forgiven for doing grimy ass shit. But they stay out of the And public they stay eye. out the way. But Jada's on fucking Red Table Talk every fucking week talking about some personal shit. Now you got your daughter talking about she don't believe monogamy. Cause I guess she don't because your mom out here fucking everybody. Like, it, and I hate best, to say that about it's the Jada. It's the best of both worlds, baby. <laughs> it, yo, because I love Will and Jada. I love Will and Jada, but I was so disappointed. Like, we don't need to know this. We don't. Definitely don't. <laughs> like we, and I'm not disappointed in what they're doing. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Because, like I said, there, there's people, I've interviewed people that have open marriages. We've talked about this, and that's locally. <laughs> So, but, but Will's not in the open marriage. Jada is. No, but Will said he was getting so Don't think Will ain't out here getting none. We, Will Smith is Will Smith. If Jada's out here splashing, <laughs> Will Smith is still Will Smith. Smashing young like, joints, I, too. We're not going to do that. Like, I don't give a fuck. Jada, Jada got oh, it off, no. and it sounded crazy because August Alcina was a punk ass and opened his mouth and leaked her shit. But I, I, you're not going to tell Listen. me Will ain't knocking down every bad actress Will's, in Hollywood. Will's, I guarantee it. <laughs> Will Will came, his teary, he got teary-eyed when she told him about her entanglement. I mean, he probably heard him. At the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, those, are, those, were the te- those were the welled up tears of a, but here, of a faithful man. But here, but here th- this is also, he's also <laughs> an actor. A really good actor. So it could be whatever. Well, no, he 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 almost cried like. It had to have had some sort of a conversation about that before that. Point. Even at the red table talk, right at the end, like he was like, "I'm gonna get you back," and she was like, "You already." I mean, she she said it right there, like she said, she, she was like, "You already did," and he was like, "Ooh," and then they laughed and then went off. That was right at the end of it. So Will Will's out here getting. Whatever they're doing is none of our business. That's what I'm saying. Pretty much. It, it doesn't matter who's doing what. Why the fuck are you telling millions of people about, especially when you got kids that are grown? And you know they a little shout out too. Shout out to um, <laughs> shout out to Willow and, and Jaden, yo, because they they got great hearts though. Like they do really great things, but they're different. They grew up rich and they grew up in that home. And Will and Jada, obviously now we know they're different. But I don't feel like we should have known that. <laughs> That's just my opinion. They're on some mother. Let them live. Yeah. We got to talk about it, though. Yeah, because it was, it was on there. I, I, I wish Jada and Will the best, and I hope y'all shut the fuck up so in five years I can forget this. <laughs> you look real stressed yeah. out in that GQ shoot that he just did. He looks a little aged. He's, he's catching up to him. Yeah, he looks a little aged. <sighs> Shout She's putting him yo. through it. He got to keep up with these. Yeah. He's tired trying to keep up with these young boys. Yo, the, the, the most disrespectful shit is he's that one in that relationship. 
Like you got Jada out here playing you when you're you're with, like Jada's. Jada, she Jada. She all right. I mean, she like professionally. She's cool. But Will is Will. Like Will's on upper echelon. Yeah. And only reason Jada's upper echelon is because she's married to Will Smith. And you are disrespecting this man's legacy. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> you was gonna say so. We have some comments. Oh, come mm. on. Let's bring the comments. Okay, so <clears throat> Tanya of the Queen's Table, shameless plug. Uh, she said in reference to R. Kelly, so trapped in the closet was really a story about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, Dame <clears throat> said, we'll be getting his legs thrown in the air. <laughs> Yo, every show. <laughs> <laughs> and Tanya said, I'll take Will down. <laughs> okay, well, Will, if you're watching. <laughs> she That's true. You know she likes the bow-legged <laughs> yeah. ones. She does, but he's not. <laughs> now, and, and the other thing is, we could, uh, like, me just assuming, we could be out here like, he got, she got Will looking crazy, and Will might really not give a fuck. Like, he said that they have lived apart for months and years at a time like will might just be like yo that's my kid's mom they they, they live together that's whatever who knows and they put their business in the street though. yeah like i said it's none of our business so we all here talking shit about y'all because you put it out there oh yeah <laughs> um but so, moving on this was a a topic i saw and it was it had a lot of uh mixed mixed emotions and i i wanted to bring it here and talk to y'all so do y'all think the, the churches should be taxed? Yep. Absolutely. fucking lutely. All of them? Why, how would you differentiate? Because there are little churches and there's some huge ones. There are very little churches. Okay, so. Well, to start, I think those, uh, what are they called? Mega, mega churches? Mega churches. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They got if it, it them happens, cats. If it happens in like a rollout fashion, start with the mega. This cat's talking about he, the, the Lord told him he needs a jet. Yeah, and, and there's gonna be some little old lady that's gonna sit there and take out money from her SSA and her SSI, so she feels like she can bless her pastor with that jet, and that's not like that's not cool. And like that's why a, you got people going into to preaching as a hustle and not because they're religious. Like, if if I know that I can go in the like if I know that I have the gift of gab, let's say I'm a I'm a poet. And everybody loves my poetry because of how I'm speaking and my words, this and that. And I'm a hustler. Why wouldn't I be like, yo, I'm going to go get this preaching degree and do this church thing. How many people? Because my congregation is going to be huge because I have that voice. How many robbers were preachers walking around as preachers back in the day? Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and even Rev Run, who seems to be a little more serious about it than Mace was, but he still cusses (laughs) and everything. Like... (laughs) Like, and, and what's crazy is I'm seeing a lot more cussing pastors. I don't know if that's like a 2020, 21 thing. I don't know. Like, uh. but I'm seeing a lot of cussing pastors. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of uh, pastors getting put on blast with some dirt, like some grimy shit. That, that's like, been going on for a while. Regular niggas that, don't even do. Yeah. That'll never stop. Like, that's crazy. Some of the shakiest people out there. Yeah. They got that Tammy Faye movie that came out. Like, they had some joint. Her and Jim Baker had some stuff going on, too. They had an open marriage, too? <laughs> he thought so. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Tammy Faye used to do all the makeup and shit. Like, yeah, she used to be crying her, you know? her mascara, be running. I remember every Sunday I would walk in my grandma's house, she'd be watching Tammy Faye and uh, Jim, right? Jim Baker. He was all loud and extra. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I never, like, as soon as I got old enough to, like, have my own logical thoughts, I was already off of a lot of the fake sh- Like, and I'm not saying religion. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, the fake people in religion. Like, I, um, yeah, I was just off it. Like, I saw through a lot of the, the, the bullshit. Like, it was just like, ah, I'm cool. I don't Cats feel like. living in mansions. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, yeah. And just. 3.4 yeah, billion estate. Faithfully is, like, living in basically shacks. And the and the and the pastor in the black church is fucking the whole soprano section, and then right, you know what right. I mean, like the, the the priest in the Catholic church is fucking the kids. Like, let's, like it's it's just 
and I'm not saying this, I'm I'm speaking factually, so don't get offended because if you look up any of this shit, it happens for real. Yeah. So it's hard to to put that kind of faith because a lot of people look at these pastors like they are the end all be all. Like that pastor has so much, and I'm not saying there's a lot of great pastors out there doing a lot of great work, but there's also a lot of people abusing their pulpit, and and that's where it gets sketchy, and, that, and that's for any religion. I'm not just coming at Christians, that would be for any religion. Like, if, if, if pe- there's people abusing their power in in disguise... Uh, to do what of, they want. Yeah, of a higher power. Yeah, it's, so, yes, in my opinion, they should be... If not taxed, they they should have requirements that they have to give back to their area. I was going to say, they should have some sort of stipulation because they just, like, wide open out in the free... They just, Chill. About, just about do whatever if, they want, if, right? if there's a yeah, surplus basically. that allows the pastor to live in the a five million dollar home. Imagine how much bread they're getting. That's what I'm saying. Like, and and that's untaxed. Like, like you got pastors with with jets, their own jets and mansions, and all. If, if they have bread for that, and all that's untaxed because they're preaching, that that's just uh, that's just a disguised hustle to me. Like, that, that's what it that's what it looks like. LCBC got like how many campuses? Like five. I, I don't even know. There's a few just but in this area. But they're shit for no reason, and they're still a park full of homeless people downtown, like, just, mm-hmm. just chilling. I don't know, like, where y'all live in regards to downtown, how often you're downtown, but the more I walk past Bibbs Park, the more the stench of piss is just stuck there. And yeah. they still, they have the nerve to still have events there, still let people, people still let their kids play in that little fountain. Niggas, like, use that business. shit as a bidet. That is a bidet for the homeless. And it wasn't they, always like that. Like, like it, that's the past couple of years has really got, like, because I remember Ben's Park used to be, like, spotless. Like, it was, like. It used to be nicer. And then at night is when people would come and, like, like put up, t- uh, set up their camp or whatever. Yeah, like, no, they out there all night, all day, man. They yeah, they had day, to be up by, like, no six, though. Paraphernalia is always all over that park. It's crazy. And you, you would think, like, all the money these churches have, if they all got together, there would be nobody on the street. That's what I'm saying. LCBC has, like, multiple locations around here for what? If, and Lancaster County alone, there's probably, like, three. Like, if, matter of fact, if you tax the, the churches, let's say you tax all the churches by way of how much their church makes or how big it is, give that all to taking homeless people off the streets. Right. All of it. They and shouldn't I, have a problem with it since that's supposed to be their mission. Yeah, on some like how they doing, they're going to do with the weed when they legalize, and the states that legalize all this stuff goes to fixing roads and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all we that can't stuff act like, like that. We the just whole way, so they just start and leaving it like that. Yeah, we can't act like church ain't a business. It's a business. It's a thriving business that makes a lot of money, and. In black churches, you there all afternoon. They do like seventy-two all offerings. All day. <laughs> they hit you with yo. By the time they send that shit around the last time, and I don't mean to say shit when I'm talking about church, but I'm saying, by the time they send the offering plate around the last time, it be like you be like, yo, my pockets is hit, man. <laughs> like that's a cable. I done bill. gave you my change. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my mom used to give me bread and. In the church, and I would uh, pocket it and go across the street to say, "Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely I spent fifty that cents on penny candy." <laughs> the preacher driving a caddy. I don't need this. <laughs> he ain't even going to miss it. <laughs> but nah, I, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm in agreement. What do you, you you didn't say yes or no? You you on the fence with it? Yeah, churches should be taxed if it's going towards some. If it's all going towards the community that, yeah, that, in that be, area. That, yeah. Because you got to do what you say you're supposed to be doing. Like, if you are a true Christian or a true Muslim or a true Jewish person. <laughs> Stop I think cooking that, the books. It's all, like, do right by people, right? Like, all religions is do right by people. So do right by people. Right. And then, and not just your preacher. Or, Stop or cooking whatever the books. The, or the, whatever, you know, the iman or whoever. You know what I mean? um, but on to the NBA. What do you think about this Kyrie Irving and, and, and Wiggins and whoever else won't take the vaccine? Um, yeah, the, the, I mean, now that the, the NBA has dropped the hammer saying they're not paying them for games not played. And Wiggins and Kyrie stand up because they're both in cities where 
vaccines are mandatory. Championship Which uh, means aspirations. you can't play half the games already because you can't play home at all. I think Kyrie don't have no leg to stand on. With his track record, he I'm has no leg to stand on. Yeah, and he has no leg to stand on. What is wrong with him? I'm I'm over Kyrie, yo. I, you remember I, I, he was saging and I, I'm on the court. Then he walked out on the team. He was at a and, he was and, on a. And the thing is, I'm a sager. I I, I sage my house. I, I I oh I sage every room in my house. I do that. But the the sage on top of the, I think Kyrie's trying to find himself, and that's fine. Do that, but don't drag your teammates with you. Yeah, man, get out of the game. Like, yo, man. yeah, go find your son. Like, don't be like, I'm man. not playing. I do like Ricky play Williams. Game. He took some time off. What do y'all think? Like, do you think it's messed up what they're doing about man, mandating man. vaccines or what? I don't think that vaccines should be mandated, but seeing as how they live in areas where it is. And it's not the NBA mandating. It's like San Francisco where Golden State plays. Mm-hmm. They're mandating, and New York City mandates it. Yeah, it's per, per stadium, per venue, yep. whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's that one's a little hard because it's it's when you lay it out, it's like you, you can see both sides of it, and you see why people yeah. stand where they stand. But me personally, I don't think it should be mandated at all. But I understand what is hindering them or ha- making the NBA have to come up with these rules in the first place. Yes. Like, because I'll say that I have just recently got vaccinated, and I was totally against it up until I got it. I was totally against it. I was I was skeptical, just like everybody else. But I started moving, and it's one, I started thinking about my first bout with COVID, which was brutal. And I was like, do I really want to do that again? And it started fucking with business, because there's certain certain places I can't go where they're talking about you need to be vaccinated. So I... Me, as, like, all I have is being an entrepreneur unless I decide to go back to work. So I have to abide by by these rules so I can move anywhere I want. It's only right. So, and that's just me making whatever I make. But Kyrie's, he's owed $25 million this year. If you don't get that fucking needle and stop playing, what's wrong? Kyrie, Kyrie, bro, bro, $25 million? He'll tell you it's not about the money. it, yeah, you're right. But we've already acknowledged that Kyrie's a little different in trying to find himself. 90% of the players have already got it because they don't want to fuck up that bad. And they're, Kyrie's entitled to his own opinion. But I think it's fucked up what he's doing to the Nets. KD and, and Harden, they came there for Kyrie. Kyrie was there first. Yeah. He talked them into coming out there. And, and now he's talking crazy. <laughs> So yeah, but Kyrie was their man. It was LeBron's fault. Kyrie is, he's different. I don't want to. I'm not down because he's done a lot of charity. He does a lot of good stuff. Like I'm not. He's not a bad dude. But but as far as bad, I don't like. He I'm, was a not flat that I don't, too. Not not that I don't care about all his his, his <laughs> what he does off the court. Like, I want to see. I don't want to hear all that extra, man. I, I want to see you play basketball. Not saying shut up and play, but, yo, man, come on. Just do it for them guys that came for you, man. You're going to do that. I wouldn't say shut up and play to all of the players, but Kyrie specifically. Like, yo, it's it's enough, fam. Enough. Like, even if if that's what you want to do, we don't got to hear it in the camera. Every time he comes up to the the mics, he's like, oh, I don't need to talk to you media guys. You're peasants. And, like, just don't. Go go sit down somewhere. Complains about everything. He he's doing yeah, a lot. Like he's, he's doing a lot. Yeah, this is this is this is his attitude. Like, and then is, it's like, oh, he, you're hurt again. Dang, yeah, come like, on, last man. Last season he already sat out. He went missing for like a week, right? Yeah, two weeks. Like or nine call days him. or something like, like that. You're getting paid millions of dollars to play, and you just disappear. Like this ain't no call, no show at McDonald's. This is no call, no show in the for NBA. The NBA. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I just I if. And and KD is his man, and every time they put a mic in his face, you can see his face, like he's he's still defending his man, but he's you can tell he's over. He's it on too. his way he's out. He's over it too, and he's looking like yo, this motherfucker. I know. <laughs> I, know I know I didn't come here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So anyway, yeah, Kyrie, I think 
Wiggins, I don't know what Wiggins is doing. Hey, Wiggins, you ain't even good enough to do what you're doing. Like, fam, they, they going to get you out of here. You're, you're, <laughs> you're just above a guy. They about to trade him for for two Snickers and a, and a backpack. You, yo, fam, like you need don't don't. I don't even he know get, why he got. He was a high pick, team. Yeah, he, yo, he was a real he high stop pick. It, stop it. Like he's he's a role player at best. Two Snickers and a backpack. <laughs> 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 but while we in California, uh, they talked about this on Queen's Table a little bit. Uh, there was there was land returned to a black family who had their land seized. Um. I don't have their names. Do you have their the, It was the Bruce family. So the Bruce family had beachfront properties. It was multiple properties in uh, uh, Malibu. Because they were black. Yeah. And KKK like during, during pressure. The, and everything that, the local yeah. government hit them with the uh, imminent, the imminent domain, John. And there yeah. was a lot of that. Doing, like, and back then they would, like, qualified black families was not getting approved for loan in certain certain neighborhood this is why when i talk reparations and, and people talk to me about oh you, you don't want handouts like y'all want handouts no fuck all that i don't want a handout we weren't even given the we basic supposed to be human so rights. far ahead of where we're at by shit, shit like this like if properties is one of the main ways you gain wealth in this country and they wasn't letting us even get any properties worth a fuck and then they was building project buildings and, and stacking us all up in there and, and some shit that none of us own. They and, own that shit. And and and, and uh, they coaxed them into, tricked them into uh, getting into that housing, saying it was for the working man and all that. And then they took money out of the neighborhood. Yep. That's cold, man. So they so they return these properties, and the properties are estimated over seventy million right now, right? Just theirs. Seventy five you know million what? is what the land is so worth. So the properties are worth seventy five million and they return they were they were returned to the Bruce family. Um I bet they so. kept I bet they kept paperwork. I, I, I would hope so. I would definitely I hope bet so. They had kept, they had paperwork kept from a hundred years. That's great. Like I'm glad it, they got it. We we just know about them, man. Like, imagine how many black families just got this stuff taken. That was in the in, in the sixties, fifties, sixties. That this that was regular. So just getting your stuff taken. And and here's the thing. So we talk about slavery. Like why this country is already thriving. People are making money, building, starting their wealth in this country. We have slavery. So we're not building anything during that whole time. Then we have segregation. So we can't even get money with them no more now we have to only get money with ourselves in the small population the the small population that is the black community in this country and then after segregation we get mass incarceration and redlining and i mean so you talk about generations of generations of generations that shit just set us back so when we ask for reparations i would like to see reparations doesn't mean cash to me reparations to me would mean free college it would mean uh we deserve no taxes for at least at least a decade. Sure. Let us get a up. Decade. I, I, at, but we we we're not going to give up. We were the taxes for for hundreds of years. Like, but there's ways to make up that reparations. But don't say you don't owe nothing. You owe. Yeah. You definitely. Especially owe. when everybody else got paid. And That's what fact, I'm saying. The fact that they would jump straight to the conclusion that we we're looking for handouts, like we're looking for cash, we're looking to be cut checks, like that says a lot about them. Right. And, and and that's what they think, like oh oh yo, so so how many, how much do you think every person should get? I don't think any person should. Don't give us checks. Give us shit to set us up. Give give us land. Give us grants for LLCs. Great. Give us give us uh property, land. Not even pro- land. Like do do these things. Do the things that that our ancestors would have done if they weren't stopped from doing it. Not just I mean? land. Like, give us our land back. Yes, that's yes. just one. Or give that's us, just one. Or give us the shit that you actually said, because forty acres and a mule today would go a lot further than it would if you give every black person forty acres. Fuck the mule, keep the mule. Give us nah, forty give acres. Give me the mule too. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just saying, like don't act like you don't owe. Y- y'all owe, and and that's why when I get on, people people talk about my criticism of Biden. Biden had a year now. He ain't did shit he said he was going to do. And I was already skeptical of him anyway. Like, I only voted for him because I wasn't fucking with the other dude. We had to get 45 out. Yeah, we had to get the other dude out. 
for Biden, do what the fuck you said, because the day after he got elected, he said, black people always had my back. And I'm gonna have your back. You haven't had our back, but I seen the Asians get us. They got theirs. They got their shit. The Afghans just got here two weeks ago. You done gave them some shit. Black folks still waiting. We ain't get shit. And Joe Biden's the reason a lot of us was in jail for these crack, these these crack laws that he created. So yes, make not only do you gotta do right by us for the country, do right by the by you because Biden is personally he's fucked us over. Stand and and just word. because you were Barack's vice president, fuck that. Fuck that. He picked you for for voter reasons. We wasn't fucking with you for real. Like, let, let's let's keep it a bean. In that Democratic primary, I ain't hear none of my people say they was riding for Biden. None of them. But when you became our only choice, we was like, we ain't fucking with the other guy. So do what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's how I feel. Yeah, mean what you say. Say what you mean. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm a, and, he, and he he got three more years, so I'm gonna let him go. But I, I'm just mad that everybody else gets to skip the line, and we never get to skip the line. Yeah. Like we always push to the back. Like we we sitting here talking about the reparations package, we can't even get the George Floyd bill passed. Like we can't even do that. You can't even get a bill passed for the cops to stop killing us. And why should why should they need these laws? You know what I'm saying? Why do we need these laws? We know why, because the cops were created originally for us. In this country, co- the original cops were slave catchers. Like, pe- people think we're we're mad about, well, people, you can't be mad about all the shooting. But if you're committing crime, you got to chalk that up to the game. Who else has the most innocent killings by police? Like, that's crazy. We have We have a lot of innocent people dying that aren't doing anything. And it's... And, and and people act like it's new. It's it's not new. It's always been going on. It's always you know, they've been hammering us for years. They're killing us. They're murdering us. And people like we expect for people to get away with it because that's the way it's been. Yeah. So fuck your laws. Fuck all this all the bullshit you be telling us, Biden. You need to do what you said you was gonna do. And um, I don't know how much power kamala has i'm assuming not probably not much she's asian now we know why yeah yeah yo kamala you really the only because for real for real (laughs) without kamala i might have sat this election out for real because i knew what we was getting with Biden. i knew what was coming but i'd rather have the 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 quiet races than the chaos races like the the idiot races the one who was because every day that's the one thing i'll say that biden has made good on this year is that we don't even hear from this motherfucker until he gets to the mic we heard from trump every Every single day every day every day day. yeah like he was on twitter not even yo he and it's crazy like like 30 tweets a day like it wasn't no regular shit yeah and and the retweets like yo, yo, he's like lying to millions of people every single day. Crazy. Yo, that's crazy, man. Yo, that's the power of yo. White people have power, man. But but the funny shit is, there's so many people that so die hard for him still. Still. And it's like, th- that's why I'm not surprised by shit no more. Like, there's nothing that's surprise. I see the dumbest shit on the internet, and I'd be like, yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> like it's, it's just it's it's crazy out here right now. The Midwest. My little sister lives there now. I went to go see them for Thanksgiving. God bless her. Yeah. <laughs> so red state. Like, Is it a red state? It's, it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's crimson. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, they had like Trump's name burned in the corn. Yeah. Yep. Big giant trucks parked out in the middle of all medians, like with big Trump banners. It's like. There's parts of PA you can go to like that. Like, oh, when I drive up like, to my... Like 20 minutes away. Yeah, close. They're clo- yeah, there's, 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 there's close parts. But when I drive and see my man up in Johnstown, which is up by Pittsburgh... Oh, yeah. Yo, when I tell you they go hard for... Tr- like, these people were decorating their houses. Like, their whole wall. You couldn't even see the the, the outside wall because it was covered with all Trump shit. And, or, or, or the police shit or whatever. Like, I'm just looking like... Yeah, I voted and for this is Biden. Like months after he lost, I, I I voted for Biden, but I'm not gonna wear a Biden shirt, Biden hat, no. Biden tie, Biden banner, yeah. like yeah, right. And that's that's what it is. <laughs> that's that's fanatic type stuff. Why would you go out your way to go that hard for somebody that's so shitty? 
that red hat was a white hood. That's why, like, that, that, that's what that red hat meant in 2020. That red hat was equivalent to a white hood. You don't go that hard. There's nobody, there's never been a president in our lifetime that, no, that, that anybody's went that hard for. Even black people for Barack, and we love Barack. Not like them We fanatics. still love Barack, but I'm, as soon as Barack won, there was no, you didn't see no black people with Barack shit all over their yeah, house or, don't or flags that. on their truck. First that's, off, we ain't putting shit on our cars. <laughs> let's, let's keep it a being. We, we, black folk, black men especially, we ain't putting no bumper stickers on our shit. Hell no. You ain't fucking up my car. <laughs> and yeah. I love Barack, but you ain't, I'm not putting this shit on my car. Yeah, the fanatics <laughs> were everywhere though, man. And they believe that, they believe that stuff. They, 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 they still blame Obama for like, what? Yo, he's been out of office. He's been out of office for a while. Why are you blaming him? Oh that shit. Lord! That shit was hilarious. Yeah, it was it was crazy to it's me because I was I was like, oh, now they know restraint. Right, right. I saw somebody said something. I forget where I saw this. It was a post that said, "I don't want to hear another white person call me a monkey again." The way they was climbing that building. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yo. <laughs> and what's so crazy is taking it back to that day. If the, just imagine if that was all black people. So, they, boy, it would have been a field full of massacre. Bodies. Yo, yo we would have we, we would have turned our team because I remember when that shit happened and I was sitting at the crib and I remember just watching Trump. First, I watched like Trump's speech and all that shit because I knew he was about to say some wild shit. <laughs> and then like forty five minutes later, I see these motherfuckers going towards the Capitol. I was like, and some of them yelling. I was like, yo, they're not going. No, hell no. And then I just see him. They start sort of climbing the wall, and I'm just imagining it being black and brown folks doing that. And I'm like, never in I life. I said, yo, this shit would look like Call of Duty. Like it would have been like ping, ping. Like we would have saw people dying on TV. Oh, but yeah. you know what they won't do? They will never slaughter a bunch of white people on TV. Na- America will. No. Uh, America Not will never country. let police start slaughtering white people for the country to see. And I'm not saying that's ever happened for black folks, like, in recent times. But I guarantee you there would have been a lot more force used if that was black folks storming that capital like that. For- and even if they wouldn't have got stopped outside, these people had time to stop and pose for selfies. They were oh, yeah, they went hard. Treasure hunts and shit. They went hard. Even if the, those people were all black and they got through that first initial phase, they got inside, they wouldn't have made it much further past that. And I think only like 600, 600 to 700 people got charged. And and there were thousands was a of lot people more there. than that. Thousands of people there. On camera. Like, camera yeah, there. Like, you can identify. Come on, man. Chilling. Po- feet posted up, taking selfies and shit. Like, they, think, yeah, I, they think that's yeah, enough. They I think, think the, the dude who did the selfie shit, he, I mean, I think he got a lot of time from what I saw. It was cr- Yeah, it was something. I don't know. Them cats are changing their tune now, though, some of them. Yeah, the one talk about getting, getting his meal and shit. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> he want to go kosher all of a sudden. But um, let me ask y'all this: We was talking about a few things, um, on on the internet, on our page, like we always do, and they asked something about couples dressing the same. So, do you think couples dressing the same is corny? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? While we switching mics? <laughs> nah, that ain't corny. It's whatever, man. Do what you want. It's like everything. It depends on how you do it. Like if y'all both come outside, <laughs> like the same, and set. matching uh, Adidas sets. <laughs> I mean, but y'all got the jacket zippered all the way up with the matching <laughs> uh, shell top Adidas and the Adidas headband. I'm clowning you, but I don't see anything <laughs> wrong with what you described. So there's a certain way you gotta freak. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to finesse it. Like, it just has to look right. Looking like they're an old R&B hip-hop group. Right, right. Or a dance crew or a breakdancing crew or some shit. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They're going to dance. Yeah, and sometimes you'd be surprised at how often it happens by accident without you even knowing. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, me and my lady have, uh, we've dressed, like, in the same colors before. We've actually did the, uh, like, I think when you when your outfits complement each other. Mm-hmm. I think that's, like, I've done that. Like we've like I I've had like the hoodie that said something hers complimented what mine said or or like we've had like we did the costume thing we've done we've done shit like but we've never dressed exactly alike. 
if we talking matching color schemes, that's dope to me. But if we talking like his queen, her her king, <laughs> nah. no, no, yeah. I just can't. So no, no matching. <laughs> Yo, crazy no shit matching is like, feline suits. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe if it's like a party, like. It, it, it if there's be, call for it, if there's yeah, need it gotta for be it. like a theme. Like if it's a '90s party and y'all both b boys or something, like, <laughs> then that's fly. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, like something like. But if it's a Tuesday, y'all going to Walmart. What about on vacation? Chill. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, on vacation, you got matching berets. You, you just walk in the boardwalk, same outfit. No, that's. I mean, that's, I don't know. I've seen couples do like nah. the same, like the matching island Hawaiian shirt shit, but everything else is different. I don't know. It like I said, it just depends on how you do it. In my opinion. I, yeah, I think there's a way to freak. I think some. I think some of this shit look crazy. I don't. I don't think all of it look. People go extra hard, man. I think. I think the compliment. I think the twinning is trash. <laughs> like super twinning is is trash. But the compliment and shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying it because I've done it. You want, Complimentary Do colors or like the matching sneakers. That's fly. I like that. Or like the matching Tims or whatever. That's cool. But if it's like. Like I. I we also did, uh, like, I had the Joker, sh- like, a Joker shirt, and she had a Harley Quinn shirt, and we had the same kicks on. We did that. See, like, that's that's fine. But it wasn't like, it, it wasn't like, I mean, like, can I get a pass for it? My it wasn't for like, it wasn't oh, like you sprayed, nah. <laughs> now, nah, see, if you would have sprayed your dress green, and then she had the fuck. <laughs> yeah, then you're doing the most. I thought then, it was fly. Then, it, then it's, it's, it's Halloween. That's hard, right? That's, that's couple, that's couple shit. Joker and Harley's a couple. Yeah. yeah the, how they did it is cool. What I'm saying, if he would have, if he would have went and like got the sprayed his hair green and she would have did the whole, then nah, yeah, then, nah then nah. Right, right. But yeah, yeah how they did it, yeah, that's then cool. Then you get in the bedroom and you talk about, well, wait, you get a load of me. <laughs> 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 you ever dance with the devil with the pale moonlight? <laughs> Yo, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, it, it gotta be, it gotta be a certain way that you freak it. Gotta be. Yeah. It gotta be. Some people looking fly with their leathers on. <laughs> leathers? Leather boots and all. You did that, didn't you? No, nah, I never. <laughs> <laughs> I think you tried to slide it in there. I think you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, so we're gonna end on a little bit of somber note. Um, I forget where this guy was even at. Please uh fill me in somebody. See in the, the, Washington, the, Oregon. The, Oregon. 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 There was a man who, there was a white couple, and a, I guess they said a black man uh, complimented his girlfriend. He shot and killed this man. And then I saw the picture, and the man, uh, I forget his name, but he, he looked like a kid. I don't know how old like he was. 22. But he, he was 22 years old. Wow. How, how old was the, the white guy? Do Bar- you know? I think his name was Barry Washington. 27, maybe. Barry Washington Jr. Yeah. He looked he looked like a kid. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened. They said there's a, a video out there. I didn't see the video. No, I, I didn't I hear about that. I don't watch. I, to this day, I've never seen the George Floyd video, so I don't even want to see that yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm cool. Um, but it just, you know, it don't look. We can, we can run to the racial shit. It looks pretty racial to me. Man. Mm-hmm. White man murders black man again. For comp, it sounds it sounds real Emmett Tillish. Imagine how insecure you would have to be to to do that. Instead of having just I don't know, speak your mind about how it made you felt, shove the niggas something. Why you had to end his life? Yeah, yeah. and pro- and, and for real, for real, why couldn't you? If, if you really had to defend your lady's honor, why couldn't you put your hands up? Because you right. know he probably would have beat the shit out you. They said there was an altercation. Oh, there was a fight. I don't know that they said it was all. There was a fight. All right, what happened was, was he hollered at the, he hollered at Shorty, gave her a compliment. The dude who shot him, his friend, he said, "Yo, what was that about?" Bull started smacking him up. He gets up from his chair, comes over, puts one in the young boy. Wow. Wow. Sad. That's so sad.
white girl that was in the car. Wow. Now they just arrested the black dude who was trying to defend himself. <laughs> wow. That you know the they one thing that the one thing I'll say about the pandemic is it kept us sane people away from y'all lunatics. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> like, you didn't hear about there, there was no mass killings for a year. There was no nothing. Mm. As soon as we got back, I'm talking about as soon, as soon as they let everybody back outside, you started seeing about killings, murders, mass shootings. Mm -hmm. We went right Yo, back to the bullshit. Yep. There was like three mass killings three weeks straight. And that right. was off the rip. Right, yeah, as soon as we got back out. As soon as they opened outside back up. And we know Atlanta and Florida have been open, but I'm, I'm talking about the rest of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're shot out out there. <laughs> they never closed. Uh, yeah, nah. Well, we know Florida go to Florida, y'all. <laughs> Florida's <laughs> going to Florida. And, and Atlanta, I heard the strippers got masks on while they out there, butt-ass naked. I, I, I'm pretty sure you might have COVID coochie, but I don't I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Don't, don't quote me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. yo, anybody got anything to say before we get the fuck out of here? Besides next Saturday, we know. I was going to say, buy y'all tickets for Rumor Rhyme. Our host right here, Thundercat, will be not only the host, but she will be performing again. Again. And she don't even know what she's going to do yet. I, I I got something in the works, in the works. And we might get her to do a song. I don't even know yet. Can we, <laughs> can we get the I'm a beg. of if he dies, he dies? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> she gotta do got to do something fresh for this. I got to put that one to bed for a little while. <laughs> but yes, uh, next Saturday, October 9th, doors open at 7. Uh, show starts at 8, Zotropolis.com. You can get your tickets. Or you can go to TCPENT.com, go under events, and you can get your tickets there as well. And besides that, we out of here. We got E on the boards. <laughs> we got Eliza Williams Jr. in the building. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> we got Thundercat in the building. And I am your host, Blast. This is Say Less Podcast, episode 148. We'll see y'all next week, maybe. Depends how the rumor rhyme go. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> right Away Home Care is a non-medical home care agency. Uh, we specialize in personal care. Uh, light housekeeping. You know, we do uh, medication pickup, groceries. I have a mother-in-law that's disabled and that motivated me to see uh, to go in her house and see what was going on and um, different caregivers coming in and out and just motivated me to use my degree to start a business such as what she receives. So I've um, been doing healthcare since 2007. Um, I go into nursing homes, I do skill care.